Hey you guys, welcome to Lovely News Network. I also want to announce on this channel that my tea line finally has its own Instagram page and I would love for you guys to follow it. We're gonna have a bunch of healthy tips and information about tea on the Instagram page. And the name is L-O-V-E-L-Y-T-E-A. So make sure you guys follow us on Instagram and like us on Facebook, okay? So anyways, you guys, I wanna come on here and spill some damn tea for y'all. If you guys do not know, there's a case going on right now in atrocious ass Arizona, okay? Arizona's always on some damn atrocious ass shit, okay? So what's going on now is this. We have a 27-year-old teacher. Her, na her name is Brittany Zamora, and she's been popped, okay, for sleeping with her 13-year-old student. This entire situation is really disturbing. It took place last year, but now she's coming up. Her trial date is coming up. And I want to go ahead and read to you guys just some of the stuff that took place in her classroom in front of another child, the things that she would do to this victim while she was supposed to be teaching class. Y'all go ahead and check this out real quick. So this is what page six is reporting. They're saying when speaking with the police interviewer, the 13-year-old said that he couldn't recall at what point of the interaction with the teacher it started to... It started to escalate to the alleged assault. She said she wanted to give me a blowjob and my stuff was really big and stuff like that, he explained. He also said that one day during a parent-teacher meeting, the 27-year-old hugged and kissed him. The teacher, Brittany Zamora, allegedly engaged in sexual activity with the student in the back of the classroom while other students were watching videos. During the interview, he said that she would often pretend to drop something or look for stuff at his desk and she would touch his stuff. He added that he would also send her notes during class that explained what he wanted to do and, profess and proclaiming his love for her. The situation continued for weeks until one day when he was staying at his grandparents' house, he snuck out to meet her in the car where they performed oral sex on one another. That night, the sixth grader said they engaged in intercourse. Though Zamora told him not to tell anybody what happened, he later ended up telling a friend. A friend of the victim said that he saw the two have sex in her classroom while he was told to be the lookout. They were just doing it, he revealed. It was very uncomfortable. It's like how weird a 27-year-old can like love a 13-year-old and stuff. It's crazy. She's not a good person. The two of them then asked the friend to stand watch the next day, but he refused and left. The 13-year-old told the friend that he had sex with the teacher again after he refused to stand and watch the second time. Now the victim's parents are reportedly suing Zamora, her husband, and the school district for $2.5 million. Now I'm going to keep it real with y'all. I have a 13-year-old son who is in the 7th grade and... To read the details in that um, story was just straight up sickening. Because had that been my 13-year-old, it would end a little bit differently, okay? I'd be ready to whoop the shit out of Brittany Zamora, okay? We'd go head up, toe-to-toe, -to -toe, fist to fucking fist, okay? I would have drugged that bitch all over the damn junior high and then caught the police. You know, this is really sickening because when you have a child, you expect for your child to be safe at school. You expect your child to be there for the learning environment and not to be learning sex ed from his damn teacher, okay? And then to all you perverts online saying, well, he should be happy, she's hot, she's cute, y'all need to chill with that shit. Because like I always say, if the roles were reversed, and if this was a handsome, you know, 27-year-old man banging your 13-year-old daughter and taking her fucking virginity, y'all would not be okay with that. Stop minimizing and trying to dismiss the sexual abuse of young boys. It's not okay. And as a mother of two boys, I will always take up for young boys when it comes to situations like this. We need to stop with that mentality that, oh, he wanted it, he's lucky. No, he's not lucky. That's gonna fuck with him psychologically. That's gonna mess with him for years, okay? How can he ever look at a 13-year-old girl his own age the same when he was banging a 27-year-old? You know what that's going to do to him? Look at look at Billy Falau, the one that got Mary Kay Letourneau pregnant twice. He's never been able to have another relationship outside of fucking her old ass. I mean, this entire situation is insane. I'm going to go ahead and play you guys a news clip. I have an audio of the father basically confronting this teacher, okay? Kudos to the father for stepping up and being a father and doing what he needed to do. So I want you guys to watch both these news clips. Check this out, and I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. Shocking new details are emerging about a sixth grade teacher accused of having sex with her 13-year-old student. 
Texts allegedly sent to the teen by elementary school teacher Brittany Zamora were just released by prosecutors. OMG, LOL, you're so cute, baby. I wish you could have stayed after with me, she wrote. He answered, me too. I wish we could just hang out together whenever we wanted. Ah, baby, I know what you mean. You're all I think about. You will be my wife one day in this crazy life. She wrote back, I'll give you whatever you want, baby. The 27-year-old teacher allegedly met the student for sex on four occasions and sent him nude selfies. She's not just having a sexual relationship with him, but she's professing her love um, for him. Um, it's truly strange and bizarre. Lawyer Russ Richelsoff represents the young man's parents who are suing the school district outside Phoenix. We've seen videos of the uh, student of the sixth grader interacting with Brittany Zamora and the way that Brittany Zamora is interacting with him is, is clearly, while it's not sexual in nature, it's clearly inappropriate. Maybe. The teacher is married. Her husband, Daniel, who works for a nuclear power company, posted this video showing how he proposed to her after going skydiving in 2015. All right, Mr. and Mrs. Zamora. They were married that same year. In one text, the sixth grade student warned the teacher, your husband gonna flip out. From the 12 News I team, hours of recorded police interviews released to 12 News, detailing evidence in the case of Brittany Zamora. She's the former sixth grade teacher accused of sexually abusing one of her students. And tonight you'll hear from the parents of that 13 year old student. His mother and father received a call from the teacher. You can imagine how alarmed they were after they discovered sexually explicit text messages on their son's phone. Team 12's Anthony Mejia takes us inside that explosive phone call. Caribe Mark, we do want to warn you, what you're about to hear may be considered disturbing. We've also altered the voices of the team's parents to protect their identities. I don't care what you want to you. What type of perverted person are you? I want to know right now. A father demanding a response from his son's sixth grade teacher, 28-year-old Brittany Zamora. You're a child molester. Do you understand me? Um, no. why do you say that? Oh, gee, I'm a lot smarter than you. Can we meet, you know, to talk about this? Or something we can settle out, you know, outside? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's what we can do so I can give you a chance to do it to some other kid. Yeah, that's exact. Yeah. That's exactly what we're going to do. That's exactly, no. And make sure you tell your husband what's going on. He is right here. Can he talk to you? Oh, yeah, put your husband on the phone. She's done so much, and she made a huge mistake. The biggest mistake of anybody could ever make in the whole entire world. But she, think about, I mean, God, God preaches forgiveness, man. Your wife decided to be a monster and prey on a child. She scarred my son mentally. For, do you understand what a 13-year-old boy did? Having sex with a teacher? Do you get that at all? Do me a favor. Do not call this number back again. The next time you'll hear from me will be in court. But hours later, the teen's parents uh, call Zamora back with detectives in the room. I just don't know why this, why you did this. Honestly, like, I just, I just got really close after I think everything went down. And we were like, oh, like, how could that happen? And then. Now Zamora is facing charges for sexual misconduct with a minor. She is expected back in court tomorrow morning. And the boy's family has filed a lawsuit against the Liberty Elementary School District and Zamora's husband, claiming they knew about the sexual abuse and didn't stop it. We're live in the Alert Center. Antonia Mejia, 12 News. All right, Antonia, thank you. We're learning more about the case against the teacher accused of having sex with her 13-year-old student. Your name and your date of birth, please. Brittany Zamora, 1591. 28-year-old Brittany Zamora is accused of having sex with the boy four times. Once, she allegedly told another student to stand guard outside the classroom to make sure nobody intruded. Police also released notes they say were passed between the teacher and the student. You are sexy, reads one. Another says, Says, you will be my wife sometime in this crazy life. In an exclusive interview, the former assistant principal at the school is speaking out. Did that surprise you to learn that she's now accused of having this sexual relationship? I'm not too surprised. I always wondered about it. Christina uh, Alvarez it worked at the school me. when Zamora was hired. She was very friendly and hands-on with the boys from the sports that she coached. They would like kind of hang on her shoulder and hang on her back, put their arm around her. She wouldn't let say, oh, you know, that's not appropriate. 
she just would kind of go with the flow and and kind of welcome the advances. Police interviewed a student who says he came across Zamora and the boy being intimate inside her car. I was one of the witnesses or one of the people that saw Ms. Zamora and my friends touch each other. Ross Richelsoff represents the alleged victim and his family. The parents asked him if he was in a relationship with somebody and he revealed it was his sixth grade teacher. You know, they were expecting another little girl in the class. You know, they were shocked and horrified to find out that it was, in fact, their son's sixth grade teacher. Zamora remains behind bars awaiting trial. So is there anything you just want the court to know about whether or not I should release you? I'd love to go home to my husband. Brittany Zamora has pled not guilty to all the charges, including nine counts of sexual contact with a minor. All right, so you guys just saw those news clips. And like I said, kudos to the father for not making excuses for this woman, for confronting her and for telling her, no, bitch, I'm calling the police. I'll see you in court. And then the husband had the audacity to be in the background and say this was just a one time thing. It was a mistake. Like you condone that? Your wife is basically fucking a child and you're okay with that? So that leads me to think that maybe the husband is also involved. Maybe they're having threesomes with other children in the area. You never know. People be out here on some sick, depraved shit. Why would the husband be okay with this? And be trying to tell the father not to press charges and, you know, we can deal with it outside the courtroom? No, bitch. We gonna deal with this in the courtroom. The only thing we gonna deal with outside the courtroom is me whooping your fucking ass for fucking my damn 13-year-old, okay? That's what the mother should have jumped in and damn said, but you know, she didn't. That's my mentality, okay? But I'm glad that they're like, you know, pressing charges on this woman. She needs to be in jail. What she did was sexual abuse, molestation, and assault. And like I said, if this was a male teacher, nobody would be excusing this. Nobody would be patting a little 13-year-old girl on the back and saying, ooh, girl, you did that. You banged that fine teacher. How big was his schlong? Nobody would be doing that if this was a girl. But because it's a boy, I'm seeing so many excuses online, and I just find that sickening, and I find it really really sad okay so anyways y'all let's go ahead and get the discussion popping go ahead and leave a comment let me know your thoughts on this entire disturbing situation once again coming from atrocious ass arizona all right deuces